Hello and welcome to Teach My Kids Storytime. I'm Sunita and today I'm going to read to you the story Beautiful Bananas. This story is about a little girl called Beatrice. Beatrice is taking her granddad a bunch of beautiful bananas but on the way a giraffe flicks them into the stream. Splash! How will Beatrice get the bananas back? Find out and on the way meet hungry bees, naughty monkeys and even a sneezing elephant. I hope you enjoy listening and remember to like and subscribe below. Beautiful Bananas Goodbye, Mama, says Beatrice. She's on her way to see her granddad. She's got a present for him. It's a beautiful bunch of bananas. Here's Beatrice and you can see the bananas she's taking. On the way, she meets a giraffe who flicks his tufty tail. He whisks the bananas right off Beatrice's head and they land with a splash in the stream. There they splash into the stream. I wonder whose eyes those are. Oh, I'm sorry, says the giraffe. He picks some flowers and bends down low and gives the bunch to Beatrice. My granddad will like these, she says. A swarm of bees settles on the flowers. Hey, cries Beatrice cries. She beats the bees off, but the flowers are crushed and spread. Boiled. We're very sorry, say the bees. They wrap up some honeycomb and give it to Beatrice instead. On she goes down the path. Some naughty monkeys see the honeycomb. We like honey. They cry. They snatch it away from Beatrice. All the honey drips onto the ground. Oh dear. Stop, says Beatrice. That honey was for my granddad. Oh dear, say the monkeys. They run up into the trees and pick some mangoes for her instead. Beatrice takes the mangoes and hurries on. Wonder if her granddad will like mangoes. Suddenly, out jumps a lion. Ah! screams Beatrice. She is very, very scared. She drops the mangoes and they all roll away. It's all right, says the lion. I didn't mean to frighten you. He pulls out one of his whiskers and gives it to her. Beatrice runs on holding the whisker in her hand. A parrot sees the whisker. He thinks it's a twig. He swoops down and carries it off to build his nest. Come back, shouts Beatrice. That whisker's for my granddad.
My mistake, squawks the parrot. He pulls a long feather out of his tail and gives it to Beatrice. On she goes again. And there's the beautiful feather the parrot has given to Beatrice. But what's that long grey thing dangling down beside the path? Beatrice doesn't see it. Accidentally, she brushes it with her feather. Who do you think that belongs to? What is it? You're t t tickling me, gasps the elephant. A tissue. His sneeze blows the feather away. The elephant is sorry. He stretches out his trunk and picks a bunch of bananas. Beatrice claps her hands. Oh, thank you, she says. Bananas are best after all. Do you think Beatrice will make it to Grandad? Here at last is Grandad's house, and here at last is Grandad. I've got something for you, says Beatrice, and she gives him the bananas. Can you spot all the animals that Beatrice came across as she was trying to get to Grandad's house? So that was the story of beautiful bananas. Can you remember what each animal gave and took from Beatrice along the way? Look through the story again to help you remember. What's your favourite fruit? Have a go at describing the look and taste of the fruits you like. For more stories and other helpful maths and English videos, like and subscribe below and visit our website www.teachmykids.co.uk I'll see you again soon.